A few months ago, I made a video discussing the N64 emulation on the original Xbox, which is something that's known to be pretty poor, runs relatively slow, unless you plan on updating the original Xbox's RAM and really doubling that RAM, usually can't get the games to run very well, but I was aware of someone on the ISO zone a few years back named Earthworm James that made a settings pack for Surreal 64 on the original Xbox that really made a lot of the games run quite well, and I showed some of the gameplay that I got from my console in that video. Now since then, over the past few months, people have made me aware that the original download link mirror that I had put in the description of that video has been taken down. Now that's likely because the N64 ROMs that were needed were in that pack as well. So there's now a new copy of the Surreal 64 emulator with the proper settings to really get these games to run well like I'm doing here on my original Xbox available down in the description of this video. I'm going to very briefly touch on how exactly you can get this set up. So again there's no ROMs in the download link that's going to be in the description this time as compared to the one I had in the video a few months ago that got taken down. So what you need to do is supply your own ROM files. Now you'll realize when you download the folder there is a folder in there called ROMs. Naturally this is where your N64 ROM files will go. However you want to make sure that you match up the file names with the ones in the screenshot. And you'll notice there's some extra characters that go behind it that's going to reference which setting files it's going to draw from that are in that folder so you want to be sure that the zip files that these z64 formatted rom files are in are named correctly now i did get some pretty good gameplay captured here um you can see pokemon stadium 2 a game that i'm very familiar with emulating on other devices like the PSP, the PlayStation Classic, my computer. It's not unusual to get that graphical glitch in the main menu. However, the speed of the actual gameplay, a lot faster than something like my PSP, a lot faster than it was on the original Xbox previously, probably even better than you would get on, say, a Wii. These games run quite well, in my opinion, and there is also some cool additional settings um, found in a text document in that folder that basically cover the first person shooter settings if you want to adapt the settings accordingly. Now I'm not someone super familiar with playing GoldenEye. I've only played this a few times on the emulator, typically just the first level to test things out. So bear with me with the, the poor quality of my actual play. Um, but this does control like a modern first person shooter. You're using both sticks in order to move and aim. So he really has the settings even for the first person shooter nailed down as far as the control layout goes to really make this work on a Xbox or controller rather than a Nintendo 64 controller. One of the biggest things I can you know when you're using this is if you click in the right joystick on the original Xbox controller, that's going to open that menu overlay that you see me opening where I can re-access the ROM list, close Surreal altogether, even turn off the Xbox, as well as take some screenshots, do some of the typical save state type features you would traditionally see in an emulator. In order to get those features, again, you got to press in the right analog stick and click it. But I think this is a really cool emulator. Thanks to Earthworm James back in the day, it runs really well. I highly recommend you check it out on your soft modded original Xbox. If you're not familiar with how to soft mod an original Xbox, I recommend taking a look on YouTube for some tutorials on how to do that. There's tutorials all over the place. Some of them will mention hard drive upgrades if you're not interested in playing a ton of original Xbox games and you really just want to try out emulators. You can probably forego the, the hard drive upgrade and just stick with the 8 gigabyte internal memory that the system comes with. However, I highly recommend doing as much as you can with the original Xbox. It's a very enjoyable system to play around with. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Bailey, and I will see you in the next video.